Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am in Akihabara, which is also known as the electric town. It's that neighborhood in Tokyo where you have all the electronics, camera gear, all the anime stuff. You have uh, game centers and arcade games. At least you used to have one that was very famous, probably the most famous one in Japan, Sega. But fortunately, I think it was last year it closed down because obviously arcade games are not making as much money as they used to. So, today, I have four things that I need to do here in Akihabara. Number one, I need to go to Yorabashi Camera Store, which is the biggest camera store in Japan. And I'm actually currently looking for a satchel kind of fanny pack to carry my camera around. And that's number one. I want to go to anime store, manga store. That's also the neighborhood where you find all that stuff here in Tokyo. Third, I want to get to the Myojin Shrine, which is on top of the hill, right behind Akihabara, which is also super cool. Sorry about the noises, that's the trains that are running right above me. Also, I just want to make a photo vlog, so this whole video, I'm going to be taking photos and I'm going to be vlogging, taking you guys along and sharing my photography here on this channel. There you have it, right behind me, this is Yurabashi Camera Store. This thing is huge. All right, let's see if I can find my satchel in there. Just found the camera section. This store is huge. So on the third floor, you get all the camera stuff and you have like nine floors. Each floor is like probably the size of, I don't know, like a, a soccer field, something like that. It's huge. All right, I'm out of Yorobashi camera. I've never seen a camera store with that much stuff. Okay, now I'm on to the second phase of my plan. I'm going to a store called Mandarake. Mandarake has been recommended as the best anime manga store in Akihabara. So I'm gonna head there. And on the way there, I'm gonna start and shoot some photography and share it on, the, on this video. Okay, I realized there's one thing I haven't shared on this video. I'm a huge anime fan and manga fan, which is why Akihabara is one of the special places here in Tokyo that I'm very keen to discover. And that came since I was, I don't know, 10 years old or something. And ever since then, I have always been, I don't know, passionate about Japan. So I'm going to Mandarake because that's where they should have the most stuff about manga and anime. So, as I'm going there, I figured I need to let you know why I'm going there. It's because I care about anime or manga. By the way, if any of you are actually interested in anime or manga, please let me know in the comments down below because I'll be really interested to know how many people care about this kind of stuff. All right, moving on. Man, Tokyo at night has such great vibes. The first night we got here, we were in Shinjuku and I was a little like taken aback by the craziness and the sounds and, and I was not prepared for it. Maybe it was a jet lag, but now that I'm used to it, I love it. Akihabara has a great vibe. I love Akihabara a lot more than I did uh, Shinjuku. And the other place I went to was Shibuya at night and that was super cool too. And it was really like raining and I got some great shots of Shibuya at night with the rain and all the umbrellas were out. Time for me to get my geek on. I'm gonna get into Mandarake. I'm gonna try and film some things in there, but I'm not sure I can film like as I want. So uh, I'll see you guys 
out of there in a minute. I don't think I mentioned this in the previous video, but all over Tokyo, you get those uh, vending machines, sorry. And those actually deliver some hot coffee in a can. Now, come on, that's amazing. And it's all over the place. Like even in the most remote places, like this back alley, all over every single neighborhood I've been in, even if it's like residential, and all you get is like a few houses and temples. And then all of a sudden, you get a vending machine. That's just great. Now I'm making my way to the Miyojin Shrine, which is on the hill right above Akihabara. So I'm trying to find my way there right now. You gotta love those back alleys. Seriously, this looks like a this looks like a movie. I freaking love it. Look at that. So cool. Oh, and also more vending machines right there. Should I try and go up those stairs? Let's see how's the view up there. Man, I gotta catch my breath. Oh, I just walked up. Got something like 10 floors. And the view is amazing. And it's free. I have no idea if that was legal, but... Come on, man. You see all the way to Tokyo Sky Tree over there? Oh, wow. Up top view on Akihabara. This is actually really, really cool neighborhood. Uh, unfortunately, Sam couldn't come with me. She's not feeling well with the jet lag. She's tired. And I wanted to go out and shoot this video and she, she couldn't make it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do it on my own. So here it is. I'm trying, to, I'm trying my best to make a good video on my own. But I'm having a lot of fun. I'm starting to get hungry, so I should go down, hurry up down the stairs and try and find some food because it's getting a little late and my stomach is asking for food and then I, I want to go home because, you know, I don't want to stay out too late on my own in Tokyo. It's kind of scary, but it's exciting. All right, so apparently you got to walk quite a few stairs to go up the hill to get to the shrine and I'm guessing I should be there in about 30 seconds I just came out of the Myojin Shrine. This was very, very special. They're actually having a ceremony right now on the side of the temple and someone's playing those like Japanese instruments and for a gaijin like me, for a foreigner, to be in a temple like this with the music and a ceremony at night with the lights and then no one was there. I mean, barely, what, 10 people were in the whole temple as I was like walking through and taking shots. That was a really, really cool experience. I'm so glad I actually came. This was the highlight of my evening. I mean, Akihabara was great. Electric Town was great. But Miyojin Shrine, definitely a must stop whenever you go to Akihabara. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now it's time to go back down towards where the train station is. back down to Akihabara, the uh, electric town where the light is. I need to find something to eat and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to Moss Burger. So Moss Burger is the most famous burger chain of Japan. So it's the equivalent of a McDonald's, a fast food, whatever, but it's Japanese and they have vegetarian options. So I'm gonna go and try it out and see what the fuss is all about.
right, I had to get away from the main uh, street because it is very loud. It's like a 4x4 with lots of cars and very fast and noisy bikes and a lot going on. Each store is just like spitting out some music and it is crazy. But the ambiance is really, is really cool. Very, very Japan. I love Akihabara. This was a great discovery, a great experience. I gotta rate it very high on the list. I think this is better than Shinjuku that I saw on the very first day. Shibuya was pretty cool as well. I think Shibuya has a lot of cool restaurants and cool places to go out for drinks and stuff like that. Whereas Akihabara is more of like a shopping area that's kind of like crazy. And then you have all those playmates. I don't know how you call that, but girls on the street trying to hook you up to get you to go into like some sort of show or something like that. I don't know what it is exactly. Just so you know, you're in for a treat if you come to Akihabara. Uh, one last thing I want to talk about is Moss Burger. I really, really enjoyed the burger. It was delicious. It's quite small and the fries are, are small as well, but it's cheaper than McDonald's and I think it's also better than McDonald's. And they have a vegan vegetarian option, which is also great. And I gotta say the bun was really good in that burger. The patty, mm, just okay but the bun was really fine the fries were good as well highly recommend for anyone who comes to japan to try Moss burger if they come here i mean it's a fast food but at least you can have your own opinion on on the thing this is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed coming to akihabara i hope you enjoyed uh, the photos that i shared on this vlog just an fyi i shot everything on the fujifilm xt4 and i've used the uh, 18 to 55 mil f 2.8 lens that's what i shot video and photo on and uh yeah i had a blast doing this little video uh, i'm gonna be in japan for another 12 days or so so i'm i'm very excited to keep making content for the channel hope you like this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already subscribe because more videos on japan are coming and if you don't want to miss those you do want to subscribe to the channel that's it for me today i'll see you guys in the next video peace